I am Andre Alexandru Popa, and I'm an expat here. I came to Sunubo in 2010, so roughly nine years ago. I've spent most of my time here in the building behind me, the University of Southern Denmark. Uh, I've been a student there for the first five years, and in the last four years I've been working as both a research assistant and engineer, and now I'm doing a PhD. So that's basically why I came to Sunubo to study initially, and now I'm working there. You feel really integrated here. All the students know each other, all the teachers know each other because the classes are small and they know you per se. You're not just some number and you get individually tailored education because of it. So definitely that taken into account and the fact that we have two student organizations here. One is the intro team, the other one is Sunova Student Foundation. They really help you get integrated as a student. You, you cannot avoid getting integrated as a student here. What keeps you alive here is the diversity of the people. You have a lot of German influence. You have a lot of benefits from the town being a university town. So all the students really give it a lively kick. Um, there's a lot more English speakers than other places in Denmark, for sure. Um, if we just take the university as an example, we are less than half Danish manned and the rest is international. And we have 51 countries, I think, that we get our stuff from and so on. There were a couple of instances when I had decided to try something else, but for a variety of reasons, ranging from getting a very nice job offer here at university or basically having a very hard time letting go of my other interest here, which is tennis. I also work as a tennis trainer in Sonobo Tennis Club. I sort of made it work every time and I'm very happy right now that I made the decision to stay.